What's up YouTube? My name's Chad. This is the Wisco Border Channel. Uh, today, it's a rainy, gross day, but I'm gonna go look at a boat. And I wish that I could have been videoing the boats that we've looked at up to this point, but um, unfortunately, the five that we've looked at so far, or which were a 1995 Main Ship 34 motor yacht, uh, we looked at two Carver 3607s, a Carver 36, all three of those aft cabin motor yachts, and then a 1994 Silverton 31 uh, sedan bridge. No, all these boats were being represented by skipper buds and they would not let me film while we went to look at them. So hopefully today I'll be able to show you. I'm going down to uh, Great Lakes Yachts and I'm looking at a 1996 Carver 355 motor yacht, aft cabin motor yacht. So, Hopefully I can show the video. Um, I'm sh I don't think they'll have any problem with, uh, with me viewing anything, but um, I want to be able to go over the boat and show you what, uh, what one of the possibilities is that we'll be looking at to replace Clifford with. As of the recording of this video, it is September 10th, and the tugboat still in the garage has not sold yet, and Clifford is uh, still in, the, uh, in my slip up in uh, Sturgeon Bay, hasn't sold yet. So. I can't pull the trigger on the next boat quite yet, but it's not gonna stop me from looking at uh, boats that I would like to consider once these boats do get sold. So let's head down to Great Lakes Yachts and look at a boat. All right, so the cockpit here, uh, most of the Isinglass is decent, just needs some polishing. Uh, there are some panels that need to be replaced, but overall, not, not bad condition. Lots of space. And up to the uh, bridge. I like up here, that corner. Okay. Got a little piece this is what we're talking about here. That piece needs, needs to be replaced. There's a crack here. Okay. There's it's a crack on that one. Right there. Oh yeah. Right there. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's. And then looks the like back here, here maybe. Polished up, but. Okay. Helm station. The, the GPS you... does not work, and the radar does not work. Okay. No GPS, no radar. Yeah. The radar, the, the array up on the top. Is you said it's seized. Locked up. Yeah, it's seized. That's right. So there you go. Plexiglass doors that are in good shape on both sides. Yeah, these need to be adjusted and shaved down a little bit as things swell up. They yeah. Okay. But I've, I've had them close. I just I just take a screwdriver and pop them and they close. But they generally what you got to do is you just got to shave this thing down and right. then put that on it. That's okay. Well, that one doesn't look too bad. Okay. Oops. All right, and you got steps down. Your battery switches are underneath here. Okay, that's easy to get to. This couch has storage, and it comes out into a bed. Okay, it's in it's good shape. It's not a typical ice maker works, okay. the air conditioning works, the stove works, the microwave works. Kelly. Apparently, and it happens all the time on these things. He probably broke the original coffee pot. Oh. And finding one to fit doesn't work, so he put a new coffee thing there. But Yeah, we. Uh, I just use a Keurig on mine, so it's not a big deal. Nope, I just pointed out the... Yep. And we got the uh, V-Birth stateroom. Everything's in really good shape, just a little clean up. Oh, yeah, it needs to be yeah. cleaned. Yep. The front head. Okay. Both of them are vacuum flush. You know? um, yeah, they're electric heads. Yeah, okay. They're not vacuum, they're electric. Electric, okay. Yeah. All right, storage under here. Drawers underneath there, cabinet there. Okay. Cabinet 
cabinet here for liquor bottles and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's another, important. Another cabinet here. Mm -hmm. Actually, the F cabinet has a lot of cabinets because you got that one there, then you got this one here. Oh yeah, which is where Carver used to have uh, where we put TVs, and apparently they took the TV out here. Oh. But you got gotcha. shelves. Yeah. But I, what I would do, I'd put a flat screen on here. Yeah, that's a perfect spot this, for it. And use this as a shelf. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a perfect spot for a, for a flat screen. She got a nice island bed. And then you got another cabinet here. Okay. Uh, two air conditioners. You've got control. It's got two air conditioners, yes. Okay. One in here. And then one in the salon, and that one cools the whole front of the boat. Okay. You get to the tops of the engines, you have to move furniture. Okay. You lift panels, all these panels lift up. I figured that. Because I, I, I saw the pictures, and I'm like, there's got to be better access than... <laughs> And the batteries are underneath those panels right there. here and then also and then, and then this thing you can see the legs here. Uh -huh. this whole thing pulls out slides out okay and then this panel comes pulls down pulls, okay pull this out and you put it there okay yeah another bed so so, so it'll oh you know, yeah so you can you got yeah. two state rooms you got the couch and i'm assuming and this the, table probably goes down as well the table goes down i haven't seen any any <laughs> now you've got a sink here okay storage here too. Okay. Are there any carpets to go with he, the He the probably cockpit? threw them away a long time ago. Okay. Here. Nice wide uh, gun here to walk on. I'll pulpit, windless under there. Nice big spot to lay out. Fender baskets on both sides. And I think uh, there are f uh, four fenders in the back as well, in the fender baskets back there. You can see where he's walking there. There's nice wide space here. Oh yeah, we got this is just we got we're starting in a couple of weeks we're raising the travel lift and we're raising everything now. We can't it's I've had two yeah, years of this. The docks are underwater. Yep. Couldn't rent any of our docks. Alright, so fender baskets back here. And then integrated steps from the uh, swim platform. This is a nice probably four foot wide, three and a half foot wide swim platform. Window goes into the uh, Aft water, cabin. Water hookups there. You got a, a shower in here. Right there. Okay. Here's shower there. in there. Shore power's over here. Shore power antenna and everything hooks up in here. Okay. Here's the name of the boat. All right, so we're just going to do a walk around here to show you everything. It is an inboard boat, so you got exhaust coming out the side here. The propellers down below. Everything looks to be in really good shape. The boat only has, well, the engines have 450 hours on it, on them. It's got good bottom paint. It does need a cleanup, a wax and a buff. Um, a couple little things, like there's some window seal 
coming off right there, but that might just need to be re-glued or put back up in the uh, track there. So this boat came out of the water at the end of the 2018 season. The gentleman that owns it got into an accident, unfortunately was seriously hurt and didn't go in the water in 2019. It has been in the water this year because they did uh, batteries, uh, impellers, and new starter for the uh, generator. And uh, they had to take it out and make sure that everything works. So it's a big boat. It's a uh, no, um, nominal length 35, but length overall, including the bow pulpit, is 40 feet. And it's 13 foot 6 uh, wide, the beam. So it's got really, really nice, real good condition bottom paint. I'm um, just kind of show the, it's shiny enough. Actually, some of this wipes right off. So it wouldn't take a whole lot to make it look real good again. Another feather. Carver 355. It's a nice boat. All right, so uh, that was the 1996 Carver 355. Um, I've had about uh, an hour and a half, two hours or so to uh, kind of digest uh, or just kind of take in everything. Um, thinking about it on my drive back up to Hartford, and uh, it's actually a pretty nice boat. Um, all things considered, it's it needs a good cleanup. But it's just basically uh, a boat that's been sitting for a couple years, but has had regular regular maintenance done to it. And then even um, recently, with the uh, um, money spent on impellers, um, fuel filters, batteries, um, you know they've they've done a, a bottom paint was brand new. Uh, they've done a good job of, of keeping the boat ready to go in the, wa in the water at any time and not really have any problems uh, crop up. So, and I think it's it will fit the, basically fit the profile of what we're looking for almost to a T. <laughs> and um, I mean, it's got the island bed, it's got a nice big salon. Um, there's a few things that could be updated. I mean, a mid nineties boat isn't terribly old and in need of update, but there are some things like, um, you know, coffee maker might need to be, uh, updated. Um, this, the refrigerator was probably original. I don't know. Um, everything works though. So it's something I think I'm going to consider. And by the time this video comes out, the, the, the decision on it will probably already be made. But I really, uh, really do need to not jump the gun here and try and buy something before I get the Regal sold. It, that's kind of the key piece. Selling the tugboat, you know, maybe, I mean, it'd be nice to have uh, uh, some extra extra padding in the bank account, but that's not, uh, that's not essential, I don't think in order to uh to move to the next boat but we'll see what happens anyway thanks for watching this episode of the wisco boater channel hope you enjoyed it um if uh we do some other if we look at some other boats i'll try to do the exact same thing and kind of show you what we're looking at here so we'll see you next time happy boating everybody